In this video, we're going to fit the front fork spring preload adjusters that are available as an accessory for your Avali GP0. The tools you're going to need for this are a 24 millimeter wrench, or you could use a socket if you wish, a 15 millimeter socket, and a nice slim 17 mil wrench. It's very important for this job to support the weight of the bike because we're going to be removing the fork springs from the front fork. So I use this little old trolley jack. It fits in under here nicely. A little bit of wood there to protect the metal on the engine and uh, that will support the weight. First thing we're going to do is undo the fork caps with the 24 mil wrench. Okay, good. What we've done, we've unscrewed the fork caps because the jack is supporting the bike, there's no weight on the front, so they've popped up against the springs just as far as they'll go. Now, what I normally do now is I'll bring the jack very gently down and you'll see that the suspension will start to protrude from the top of the forks here. The next step, with your 17 mil, slide it in here to get on, you can see there's a nut here, to get on that nut, that's like a lock nut. And then the 24 mil goes on the top. And what you do now is push one against the other and uh, unscrew the fork cap. And then we'll repeat that on the other side. I'm gonna pull these apart, I'm gonna do them one at a time. Um, you see that the little bump stop here has come up with that spring. That's, uh, it could happen, it may not, it has a little bit that side. On the previous bike I did, it didn't happen. But the idea is we take the nut off, the washer, the spring cup, and then we'll slide the spring off. Now, the damper rod's gonna keep trying to go back down inside the fork. So it may be good, once, once you sl slide everything off, just push a little piece of uh, shop cloth or rag or something down there to stop it disappearing down here again. You can fish it out again, it just makes it a lot easier to work if it's up here. So you get 17 mil, just slack this off. Once it's up here, there's no weight on the spring, so you should be able to get it off with your fingers. But remember, as soon as this is off, this is gonna start trying to fall, the uh, damping rod's gonna start falling. So what we need to do is quickly get that off, get the washer off and the spring cup. There we are. And then we'll put a rag here to catch any oil. We'll get the spring out where the spring comes the little bump stop there you can see there's a bit of oil there and there we go we'll put that in a safe place down in here you can see the the washer that sits on top of the spring guide if you just push the damping rod down a little bit and then pull it up you should be able to get hold of those two there there's the washer there's the spring guide so i'm just going to push a little bit of shock towel down here to stop this damping rod sliding back down again. That should hold it. Here I've laid out the components of the original fork assembly and then these are the parts that you'll find in the kit for the preload adjuster. So this is in the order that you're going to find them on the, the uh, damper rod. What we're going to do now is prepare to add the additional parts for the preload adjusters. So this is the spring guide. Now according to the instructions this needs to be cut down by one centimeter in length. So uh, I found the uh, most accurate uh, way to do this is to put it in your vise. Just make sure your vise is, is uh, clean um, and use this notch here so that you know it's square and then I set up my vernier caliper to one centimeter so there's one centimeter extended at the end and we just gently push this down until there's one centimeter clear nip it up and then what we're going to do now is cut it with a box cutter when we put it together the first thing that goes on is your spring guide and it goes with the tapered edge downwards okay we'll just pop that out the way the next thing is the washer 
then the bump stop, and then the washer from your uh, preload adjuster kit. That goes on, then the nut from your preload adjuster kit. Now you'll notice one end is threaded, one end isn't. The non-threaded end is the first one that goes on, so that when you screw it down, it screws over the end of the thread and down onto the damping rod, like so. And you'll see why that is like that shortly. I'm just gonna put this back in here so the damping rod doesn't go down the hole. This is the original uh, fork cap. We need to get this seal out of here and onto the, uh, the new one. So just get a little screwdriver under it and very carefully pop it off like that. This is the preload adjuster fork cap. You need to put the rubber seal into the groove above the threads. So we'll slide it on like that. It fits like that. Next, we're gonna fit the spring. And then we can get the adjuster cap that already has the seal fitted and screw it on the top of the damper rod. Screw it down like that. Till it contacts the nut that came with the kit. Okay, the next step is to pull the spring down Get your 17 mil to lock it into here. And then this is where the 15 mil comes into play because the, uh, this, the portion around here, I can't find a, a socket or anything to fit that and I don't have a peg spanner. So what I found is put your 15 mil into the adjuster, turn them down and then lock them together like so. Pull the 17 out, the spring snaps up this is all locked together. Your preload adjuster is now fitted. Uh, I'll just uh, do the other side and then we'll wrap everything up. If you've done the job correctly, these will be the parts that you'll be, uh, you'll be left with, just so you can check. Now I'm gonna use the trolley jack to lift the front of the bike. And as we lift it, you'll see that the uh, fork caps start to line up to where they should be. Oops, she's trying to come off the front stand, but I've got her, she'll be all right. There we go. Now that uh, I just set her back in the front stand so she's good and solid now. The weight's supported by the little jack here, but we've lifted the front enough so that we can engage the threads on the fork caps. Again, use your 15 mil on the adjuster and you can just wind them down like that and then nip them into position. To finally tighten them off, what you need to do, is screw the uh, preload adjusters all the way in I think there's approximately 10 turns till it tightens up and that way you can make sure that the fork tap cap is uh, nice and tight in the fork. These uh, preload adjusters have a range of 10 complete turns. Um, the stock setting is five turns out from all the way in and uh, once you've got them set to that obviously when you get on track you can uh, manipulate them until you get the front end feel that you're looking for. There they are, they're fitted, they're ready to go. Thanks for watching.